We're joined now by Arizona State's newest defensive back, LaTerrence Welch, transferring over from LSU to Arizona State. LaTerrence, first and foremost, man, congratulations and thanks for taking the time today. Uh, good. I appreciate y'all. What's been uh, the last, I don't know, week and change been like for you, obviously, visiting Tempe uh, and then your experience in the transfer portal? Um, it was visiting Tempe. It was a, um, it was a great experience. Um, just being a kid from Louisiana and, and experiencing like um, different things, how the city is, um, the culture at Arizona State. Uh, it's been exciting. What stood out to you most about this coaching staff? Um, they're real genuine. Um, they see a plan. Um, they see a vision. Um, and I feel like I've seen that vision and see that plan. And I, I feel like I can um, fit perfect in that scheme. Was there a moment for you when you were visiting Tempe or maybe having some of these conversations, whether that be with Kenny Dillingham, Brian Carrington, or whoever, that at that moment you kind of knew that you're like, yeah, this is this is the place for me? Um, they all they all see something in me. They all see that dog in me, um, and they just want to unleash that dog. So I feel like all the coaches on the same page on um, where they want to see me at, um, where they see me at in a year from now, um, two years from now. And I love, I love the vision that they see me in. For Arizona State fans that aren't familiar with your game, what kind of defensive back are you? And is is there any specific player that you model your game after? Uh, I say I model my game after J.C. Horn um, or Jalen Ramsey. Just a physical guy who's going to come down, make tackles, um, come make this, somebody who's on the ball who can make plays and just have fun with it and just have fun with their teammates. I mean, that style of defensive back definitely fits in this Brian Ward defense all sorts of chaos driven, whether that be uh, sending guys or simulated pressure. What excites you most about a scheme like that? Um, it's an NFL type of scheme, so that's that's what you want to be. That's what you want to be around. You want to want to be around somebody who's gonna develop that, that that's going to develop you into an NFL back. And I feel like um, Coach BC, Coach Ward, and Coach Dilly they they see they see me as an NFL back, and they want to use me as an NFL back. Absolutely. Were there any other places that you were considering, or was it just Arizona State all the way? Uh, I say it was Arizona State all the way. I say um, Coach Ward, and they stood out to me. Uh, Coach Ward came to my crib, came chill with me, came eat over here with me, and just uh, that first we got into the party, he was there, um, came visit me, and just talked about how how much he wanted me there and how much he can. He he just see a vision in me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, there's obviously a, a lot of room to play immediately in this Arizona State secondary with guys like Roe Torrance, D. Ford, Chris Edmonds, uh, all running out of eligibility. For you, was that a big part of the process, is, is trying to land somewhere where you knew you could play pretty early on? Well, definitely. I feel like I was held back at LSU, and I feel like um, the thing, all that ambition and all that want. Uh, it's going. It's, it's all going to add up, and I feel like I'm about to get everything I prayed for at Arizona State, and I can see myself being All American and Absolutely. just leading the conference as a top DB. Do you feel like you can step up and, and be a, a leader for this defense again, a, a unit that is losing a lot of key pieces from last season? Uh, most definitely. Uh, I feel like I feel like me coming from where I'm from, and I feel like um, I want to win. So, in order for me to win, I'm going to have to step up and be that leader uh, among some guys. Um, so, you know, stepping up and being that leader will be a big part of winning. I think there's a lot of people that immediately, when they, when they see that you're transferring over from LSU, right, like a, a place that is considered one of the best places in the nation for defensive backs year over year, I think there's a lot of people in Tempe that get really excited, right? They get really excited to have one of those guys um, on their team. For ASU fans, if you could sum up just the type of player that they're getting, what would you say? Um, that's one thing. I love the fans. I love the fans. I feel like the fans bring that energy on game. They 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 give you that they give you that confidence. Um so I feel like um the fans about to get somebody who wants to be there, somebody who wants to win, and somebody who's hungry and willing to show 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 y'all every Saturday that yeah, we about to win this thing, we about to have fun tonight. Look, man, but between you and then a lot of the other defensive transfers that have come to Arizona State or have said that they're going to transfer to ASU, I know there's uh, a lot of people that are excited for that. There's people coming from winning programs 
like you, Justin Watley, obviously coming over from Cincinnati. He was a part of their college football playoff team uh, not too long ago. And then they've got guys all across the nation. I think this can be a unit that's probably uh, a, a group that's maybe a little bit underrated heading into the Big 12. You've obviously got that SEC experience, ASU moving over to the Big 12. Uh, what excites you most about that, playing in a new conference, a bunch of different teams that you haven't got the opportunity to play against? Uh, I feel like I played against all the top dogs, so I feel like going into that conference, uh, I'm not, I'm going to be as humble as possible. Uh, every Saturday, I just want to compete. I just want to. I just want to just I just want to win. So going into that Big Twelve conference, I feel like um, we're all about to get on the same page. Um, come spring and when fall come, we about to just take off. I feel like ASU is a sleeping giant. We about to wake everybody up. Absolutely. I know. I know you brought up Brian Ward as a big part of the recruitment. Was there any other coaches specifically that stood out to you in some of those conversations? Um, Coach BC. He he's very familiar. Like he he know. He know what type of person I am, so he just want to bring that that person out. Um, so, Coach BC, I, I love him. I feel like he's real genuine, um, real down to earth. Gonna let you know the real. Uh, I feel like I ain't been around that in so long. So, um, and Coach Dilly, I for sure, for sure, he's he he's a young head coach. I feel like he understands guys our age. So that's 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 gonna that's what's gonna make him stand out amongst other coaches. Yeah, obviously a, a significant age gap between him and then your previous head coach and Ryan Kelly. That, that's that been kind of the thing that we've heard from a lot of these players is the the relatability of Kenny Dillingham being such a, a younger coach. Like, was it was there ever like a surprise for you? Like, you obviously knew that Kenny was a little bit younger going into this process. But was it when you actually had those conversations with him? Was it like, huh, man, this is it's a little weird to have a, a coach this young? Um. Yeah and no, but I feel like he no ball. He um he no ball when he see ball. So that's and I, and I know ball. I know ball when I see ball. I feel like that's what we related it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then you brought up BC, dude. Like I know, like maybe you've seen it now. Brian Carrington, by far the freshest position coach in the nation. I think hands down. Right? You can attest to that. Nah, he fresh for sure. He fresh. He got. He always got it on. Always, dude. Always. Before we get out of here. Uh, just what would your message to Sun Devil Nation be uh, before you obviously get to Tempe and then get things started with spring ball? Man, let's do it. Uh, I'm very excited. Just starting a new journey there. Um, I just want to feel like I'm at home there. Um, f to the fans, we about to do it this year. We about to do it. We about to have fun. We about to, we about to, we about to do our thing. We about to wake everybody up. We about to wake the nation up for sure. Forks up. Love him, man. Absolutely love it. Arizona State's newest defensive back, LaTerrence Welch. LaTerrence, thank you take, for taking the time today, man. Most definitely.